Welcome back everybody. This video will be taking a quick break from joins that we've been discussing for the last eight or so videos, and we will be discussing something that's a little unrelated, but kind of related, if that makes sense. But anyways, we will be discussing aliases. So an alias is when you rename something and you give it kind of like a nickname or more of a user-friendly name, or a name that you are more used to seeing. And you can do this when you're writing select statements in SQL, and you can do that to either make it easier to write or easier to read. So when you want to give a table an alias, you will use the AS or AS keyword, and that's going to say anything that follows is, we, is what we want to call the table. So let's say we had that user table. And instead of using user, you wanted to say a customer. Well, then when you use the table in the rest of the query and you use your joins, rather than using user, you can use customer. And often you won't take a short name and make it into something longer. You will do something like replace user with a U, and then instead of you doing user dot user ID, you would be U dot user ID. That's an example of an alias. When you do it on tables, it's often to make the select statement easier. But you can also do it for columns. Now, when you do it on a column, it's going to work a little differently. So on a select statement, you put all your columns at the top. So here's just an example of what you might say to a database. You're going to select the email, first name, and last name. When you use an alias with columns, not only do you change what the column is called, but it's going to change what it's presented as. So when you get that new structured view, that generated table, and it looks something like this, rather than saying email, first name, or last name, you can make it say uh, email fn, whoops, fn, ln for first name, last name. Or you can take out that underscore and you can replace it with, you know, first space name. This works similar in the way that uh, the other alias works for the tables, except you put it right after the column. So you could say select email as contact, comma, first name as and then you put in quotes, you gotta quote it. That's because you're telling it this is what you want it to be. You wanna put it in quotes so that way it's understood to be a string. You can see here I put that space there and without the quotes I can just cause a problem. Comma, and then underscore last, last name. You guys see all that? That's basically how an alias works. You can take the alias to make things easier to write, easier to present, and also it can change the way the view looks so it looks more pretty, right? In the next video, we're going to be talking about joins that you reference the same table or a self-join. And basically, you're going to take the table you have and basically tell MySQL you want to make a copy of it, essentially, and join these two tables, which are the same. And the only way that's going to work is if you give it an alias. So this table will be called T1 and this one be T2, for example. So that's an example of when you would use an alias other than renaming your columns or your tables. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.